Let us edit a rhinestone design in Leonardo Design Studio. And this is regular Leonardo Design Studio. As you can see up here at the top left hand corner, it just says Leonardo Design Studio. There's no pro beside it. Okay. Now with Leonardo Design Studio, um, the pro edition, you can save your files as SVGs and take them to other programs among a couple of other things. But the most important thing is um, you can still use your Leonardo Design Studio with your Rhinestone files, even if you don't have Pro. So let's go up to the upper left-hand corner, grab the word file, click there, and then we'll drop down to where it says import, or you can just type control I on your keyboard if you like shortcuts. I'm going to do this design. It says low top football fan. I'm going to click there and we'll open it. And it has one, two, three, four different pieces to it. I'm going to click on cut only because I'm not printing this out um, and I'm not editing any um, pictures. So that's all I'm going to do is cut only and hit next. It has uh five different colors but now I'm going to say that's fine and we'll hit apply. So here's the design. Um, give me one moment. I'm going to slide this over so that you can see here is my 12 by 12 Leonardo square. Um, normally I cut with a cutting mat so I'm going to put this as a cutting mat. So I'm going to come up here to the upper right hand corner and you see where it says under send design, you see it says artboard and cutting mat. I'm gonna hit that drop down button. And then you see your media width is 12 by 12. I'm gonna not have it as a material roll. See that's highlighted. I want it to be a cutting mat. So I'm gonna click here. And as you see the picture of the cutting mat right here on the left hand side turned into what looks like a cutting mat, right? So that's great. Um, and it's the standard Caesar mat. All of the rest of that is good. So I'm going to close this back up. All right. So now that we've done that, you see once I click this, no matter which one of these I click on, they all move together. So that's because these four things are grouped. And then down here at the very bottom where you see my uh, cursor circling, it says group 32 items. And then the name of the file, which is super cool. I like how they put the name of the file down here as well. And this file is 32.968 inches wide by over here on the left-hand side, 17.885 inches tall. So we're going to ungroup this. It's selected right now. So I'm going to right-click on any part of this. It doesn't matter. And then I'm going to select ungroup in the menu that pops up. So now that I've clicked ungroup, notice down here it doesn't say um, <clears throat> group anymore. So let's click off of it. And so now this is separate, this is separate, this is separate, and these are separated. Now, one thing I'm noticing about this actually is. This is fused together. All right, so when I say this is fused together, let me check these files really quickly. I'm going to check something. Let me group this back real quick because this file is optimized for Cricut. Let me see if this other file, let's go import. No, this is Cricut and Brother. So let's grab that and we'll open it. And this looks like it's optimized as well. So I'm going to hit cancel. All right. Now, when I'm saying optimize, <clears throat> what optimize for Cricut basically entails is, and I could be wrong. Let me see. Okay. So that one is not, this one is not, this one. Okay. I was wrong. I apologize. <clears throat> so when you go to open if you want to do editing, um, and I'll show you how this works even if the file is optimized, but when it's not optimized um, like this, then you can move the file off of the square. OK, 
Okay. And the reason why this is not optimized is because if I bring this into Cricut, all of these little circles will wind up in a long row going down the side of Cricut. And it takes a lot longer for it to load into Cricut. Um, so that's why rhinestone designs are often optimized for Cricut. And there's a separate file for those files, um, for the Cricut designs rather. All right, so let's go back to this. So this says team name, this says fan, this says fan in the shoe, and this is the football. But here are letters that you can change up here to what you want. So for the time being, I'm going to move this off of the black square and move the black square out of the way. And I'm going to come over here and I'm going to change the color just so that it's easier for us to see. Okay. Here we go. So all I did, actually, let me show you what I did because I could not see the color right here. I have it selected, right? You see that it's selected. What did I just do? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> so you see it's selected. I'm going to come over here, far over here to my right hand side where it says properties. And as you see, there's a big color wheel. Here's a way to pick a color by clicking on this gray square. And then you can just select a different color this way. Or you can move these little ditty dots. See this little dot right here is gray. And then this, it, this picks the primary color. And then the inside picks the shade. So I can move this to blue instead of pink. I can move it to blue, I can move it to green. And see, so notice the inside is just shades of green. I can move it to yellow, shades of yellow. And then um, what we can do is move this right over here is gray. But if I move it over here, it's black. Over here is a darker blue. And then you can use this to kind of find the shade that you're looking for in your color. Okay. Easy as that. And so going back to this. Um, notice if I right click this, I can't click ungroup. Notice that I can't click ungroup. So what we need to do is crop or cut this team name off of here so that we can add the letters that we want up here. Now I've never done this before in, uh, Romeo. So give me a moment. Let me find where we're going to get this done. Um, let's see, that's spacing, that's editing curves, that's drawing, and that's selecting. So let's see if one of my other techniques will work. Let me see, do they not have a cut feature? Let's go up here. Okay, let's try this. So let's draw a shape. Right now I'm just experimenting because I'm not sure which, which process is going to work. So as you see, all of these are connected and I can't ungroup them. Um, actually, you know what? Maybe I can. Hold on. Let's move that out the way. And I'm going to grab this. And let's go to paths. And let's see if ungroup paths work. So I'm going to click on ungroup paths. Yeah, it did. Because see, look, 1,378 items. So now, look, each individual rhinestone, I can select it now. So if you want to edit a rhinestone design, um, meaning you want to remove part of a rhinestone design, then what we want to do, I'm going to hit undo so that you can see it again. So now everything is all in one. We're going to select the part that we're going to break apart or not break apart. That was the wrong terminology. We're going to select the part of the design, go to paths and ungroup paths or if you're a um keyboard shortcut is shift control and the letter u so let's ungroup paths and now all of our paths are all of our stones are separated so now i can just use the select tool and come and select all of this and hit delete or for right now i'm just going to move it out the way all right so now I can come over here and say, for instance, I want to do um, Saints. Let's go S, 
A I N T and I don't have another S so let's go to this one I'm gonna select it I'm gonna right click I'm not gonna right click <laughs> I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna come down here to where this circle-y thing is, or it may be a different thing, but it's the third one from the left. And then I'm gonna grab on duplicate and it automatically, I clicked it one time and it made another one for us, okay? So then I'm gonna draw a box around all of these uh, letters. And then I'm gonna click on arrange, align objects. And then I'm going to click on center, um, center right here because I want to get them all to line up and see now they're all lined up and then they're probably not spaced evenly so let's go to arrange align objects and distribute I think that's horizontal and it is so now all of my letters are perfectly uh, distributed and even if you don't like the distribution of it because see the S still looks like super far away, but that's because of the way of the curve of the S and how this A is right here. So you can adjust it the way you want, but I'm gonna bring it over just a little bit, bring this over just a little bit. And there we got our saints up here now. So I'm gonna grab these, I'm gonna group them and I'm gonna center them. I'm centering it right here by the, um, center mark on the mat and there i have my design that's how you can add that in and so now that all of this is um separated though leonardo is super cool it should cut this without any issues you shouldn't have to group everything together but in case you want to there it is okay so there's how you would um do your file now just in case i might have missed somebody i'm gonna do this faster and i'm gonna zoom in this time okay so let's go file let's import and i'm gonna grab the low top football well actually let's grab this one low top football fan cricket brother let's see if we can't um break this one apart all right and so now we have all of this together i'm going to right click and i'm going to do ungroup because everything comes in grouped so we're going to take this off because i know the size came in correctly um let's grab these two and we're going to move them down out of the way because this is the file that i'm going to work with Move these letters. All right. And so now look, team name, she already has it separated. So now you can just take that off with the cricket file. So if you get this file, then you can just slide the team name away and then come over here and grab your design. So she made this one super easy for you. So let's uh, go back to the other. import let's do the first one we'll hit open cut only apply oh i forgot to take these off let's take this off okay and i'm going to move these two oh sorry i gotta ungroup it move these two guys out of the way move this out of the way put these over here and then i'm gonna grab this guy I'll come right here Let's zoom in so that you can see. Oops, I zoomed in a little bit too much. Let's zoom out. There we go. I have to. Okay, and now let's zoom in. 
Oh, I keep hitting the wrong thing. I apologize. There we go. All right, now let's work with this so that you can see it better. Okay, so team name, fan, it's all grouped together. Each letter is individualized. Let's slide this box out of the way for the time being. This box is to help crop it so that it um, allows you to um, be able to cut it in a square with your flock and you not have to cut the square. But that's entirely up to you. All right, so let's grab this. I'm going to change the color again just so that it makes it easier to see. And then what we're going to do is because all of this is together and I can't separate it, um, like ungroup doesn't work. It's not even an option. So let's select it. Let's go to paths and let's ungroup paths. And when we ungroup paths, now you have all of your dots where they need to be um, so that you can now select the whole team name and you can move it you can delete it you know you can set it off to the side because you can use some of these numbers maybe in the team name you're looking for um so now let's grab the c let's grab the o let's grab the l let's grab the t and let's grab the s and now we have a new team name up here all right, so hopefully that made sense for you. Um, and again, this is Leonardo Design Studio regular edition. This is not the pro edition. So you could actually go ahead and right now I can't because I did not sign in so that I could make sure it was the regular Leonardo Design Studio and not the pro account. But if I was signed in, then I could go ahead and send this design. Um, even with the basic account, I can go ahead, send the design and um, cut it out on my Leonardo Design Studio on my Romeo or my Juliet um, with the mat and not have any issues whatsoever. The only thing I cannot do is save this as an SVG, but I can save it as a Leonardo Design studio document so i can put this as colts like for instance i can put colts okay and then that way whenever i want to uh cut out colts again i'll just come and find my leonardo design studio file and cut it out and then i can take this off and i can put rams and then i can go file save as and then type rams and save it as a rams file but i just cannot save this as an svg to take it over to say Cricut Design Space, okay? So hopefully that made sense. Thanks for coming to um, learn how to do this in Romeo. Absolutely, not Romeo, Leonardo. <laughs> Absolutely love Leonardo. So hopefully you will enjoy using Leonardo to cut out your rhinestone designs. Thanks, have a good day.